Let's talk about the Hartley oscillator. It's an LC oscillator invented by Ralph Hartley back in 1920. And it's a tuned circuit consisting of a single capacitor in parallel with two inductors in series or, or one inductor that's been center tapped. Now LC uh, oscillators have been around for a while, but what he did, he, he center tapped the, uh, the inductor and he used that voltage to feed back into his circuit to uh, control the frequency better, make it more stable. Of course, he used uh, tubes. We're going to use these Schmidt triggers. Now, these Schmidt triggers are good for us because they're, they have a hysteresis and they'll, they'll get rid of a lot of noise for us. Now, in order to feed this voltage back into the Schmidt triggers, this is the, this a representation of what it looks like inside. I think most of them have, uh, these are uh, CMOS FETs and most of them have two, two P channels and maybe two N channels over here. But they take this voltage off the coil and they feed that back into the uh, the source of these end channel FETs to control the uh, frequency better. Now, what we want to do is we want to have uh, 16 megahertz. So in order to uh, get our 16 megahertz, our frequency is going to be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of uh, the total inductance times the capacitance. Now. I picked these uh, 3.9 micro Henry inductors, these right here, because uh, I had them, and uh, we're going to figure out how much uh, capacitance we need to, uh, to oscillate at uh, 16 megahertz. Now, you know, we could put this into Excel or just onto our um, calculator, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it in, in Google, and I'll show you how that works. And this is what the, uh, we're going to type this into Google and see what comes up. We'll go there right now. Here we are in Google, and all you have to do is uh, type in the formula. I already typed it in, so it comes up automatically. And uh, here it is here. What's nice about this, it takes care of your uh, microhenries and your picofarads, and it gives us a reading in, in megahertz. And we're going to go over to the uh, scope to see if this thing works. We're at the scope, and you can see that we're at uh, uh, 16.09 megahertz. It's fluctuating around a little bit there but uh, not too bad. I'll show you my setup on the bench here. This is the unit I'm using to test with. Uh, this number here was wrong. It should be 12 point something and you shouldn't use a breadboard. There's just too much uh, straight capacitance and stuff in here. It should be on a, a ground plane um, but I just wanted to see if it would work and later on I'll put it onto a, a ground plane properly. Uh, thank you.